everybody, Joe here with Canada at the Movies. Today I'll be doing a film review for the One Piece film, Red. This is an anime, um, and One Piece is a long-standing, long-beloved anime. Of course, depending on who you are. Of course, you have your One Piece stands, you have your normies who just kind of watch it off and on for the story, and then... <clears throat> I would consider myself one of those. I'm not really like a big stan of One Piece, but this movie um, has several voice actors. Um, I won't get into all of that, but the animation was great. Um, I love how they kind of mix anime and CGI um, together to the point where a lot of times you really couldn't tell the difference. Um, it was a beautiful film to watch, um, lots of bright, vivid, live colors, um, but of course there was contrast. Now, the thing that they did different that I really liked is that you would expect the, um, the bad guys to have the uh, dark colors and the gray and all that stuff, um, but it wasn't exactly the case because in this case, the plot, uh, doesn't go around our normal main character, Luffy. Um, it goes with a pop star slash singer who at a younger age wanted to be a pirate, but some things happened to where she wanted to end the pirate era by the name of Uta, that's U-T-A. Hopefully I said that right. Now, I did see this movie in sub um, every time I get a chance to watch an anime, whether it be a movie or a series, I want to initially watch it, if I can watch it every single time as a sub because you get so much more context, you can tell the difference in the sound, etc. Um, I don't know, I, I, I just prefer sub. I've tried dub, doesn't work for me. Sub is, sub is where it's at. So if you go see this movie, go see it in sub, but you will have to pay attention, put your phone down, because you will have to read um, as you're going, unless, of course, you speak Japanese. So um, this movie, um, you know, revolves around Uta, and she is a former longtime friend of Luffy. And the thing that really surprised me about this film is that she was not only our main antagonist, but she was a pop star, which means that this movie was a musical. And you know how I feel about musicals. My whole life is a musical. So I really enjoyed it. All of the songs were great, um, but you gotta really pay attention to the lyrics, which, you know, if you're just in it for the beat, for the beat drop, you get that. But the lyrics really kind of tell what it is that's going on in the story. And, and, and her singing is actually how she fights, which is a sick superpower. She was able to um, transmit things all across her world um, in order to affect the lives of many. Now, I'm not going to get into the plot, but it was kind of thick and it goes deeper than you think because you think she's the main antagonist for the most part until you meet who actually is and who's been actually lying this entire time. And so because of that, I'll have to give the plot like the plot is thick, but you know, it's like that with anime. Um, I know a lot of times people think of anime and they only think of Dragon Ball Z, but there's like, like I told my friend Travis, even though I enjoy Dragon Ball Z, I'm a huge fan because it's good, dumb fun. But it's one of those things where if you want authentic Mexican food, for example, you don't go to Taco Bell. It's not that Taco Bell isn't good. It's just not authentic. So, <laughs> um, so I would have to, as far as like the plot goes, the animation, the characters, the exposition, everything, the music, I'll have to go and give this movie a solid A. Um, I do recommend this film. Um, I may be a little, you know, different in that considering that I am an anime fan. Um, but if you've seen One Piece film Red or if this uh, uh, review uh, convinced you to maybe give it a chance, give it a try, 
hit us down in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. I would love to discuss it. Um, again, I've been Joe with Candidate the Movies. Please click that like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a fantastic day. Oh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace.